What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916, tuned in with Fresh Out and my homie, Ghost Loke, DJ. What's going on? What's going, what's hey, happening? you know it's been a minute. You know we had some great videos in the past. We chopped it up some great topics. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe, that share button. Um, I had to have him back, man, because it's been a minute. And um, I want to touch on a few things going in. You know, um, DJ, man. You know, there's a lot, a lot of conversation in the hip hop community, even in the streets, man, when people talk about, you know, checking in. Mm -hmm. And I know even like, you know, Charleston White said, you know, people talking about checking in, but you check in and what can these dudes provide? I mean, what's your whole take on that, man? And, and the fact that, you know, you're, you're a person trying to earn a living or you're doing your thing, but you're in that industry and they're saying if you don't check in to certain places, you can expect to get robbed or jacked or what have you. You know, it's it's like, man, um, you never want to forget where you came from. Not a problem, you know. Yeah. But the check ins and you do you, you know, you, you do want to check in, but when you reach that certain level, you can't be down there all the time. Yeah. You can't you, you just can't do it, you know. You know, cats talking about, you know, keeping it one hundred, you know, and um it's like in in the dope game. In the game that I was in, yeah. you know, it's like once, you know, you can be on the same level like this, right? But once you start getting this bread, um, you have to. Um, everybody's not your friend. Everybody from your hood is not is not which for your best interests. And um, motherfuckers is hungry. Excuse my language, but cats get hungry. Yeah. And you know, so if we, you want to keep it one hundred, um, you can keep it one hundred. But once you reach that certain level. You can't do what you used to do at one time. And you see the evidence on social media, you see the evidence of cats want to keep it 100 all the time. Um, the circle has to get smaller. Do you think a lot of that pertains to, to as you mature in a game? Cause you know, it's like, it's like even in the pen or like you said on the streets, as you get older, you're not running around doing the same thing. You're like, you're not on the yard like you used to because now you're, you're kind of beyond that stage as far as your awareness and your position in that community. So someone like yourself or myself, you know, you're, you're not necessarily, you don't have to be seen on the Shaw to have that, that, that presence or that credibility because you done been there, done that. Mm -hmm. But like a lot of the more younger people, it's almost like PMB rock going to that particular mm -hmm. Roscoe's because by showing them a video there, Oh look, I was actually in in the thickest shit. It's like going to the old block. I was at the old block. You know, dudes are doing that, and I even seen a basketball player did it. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? You're a multimillionaire. Why are you trying to act like your street? You know, so people are starting to they associate being in certain places and being on the street. I was there, like it gives them accolades. And at the at the end of the day, you're really a dummy, man. Like you said, if you don't made it to a certain point and you balling out of control and you actually survived that. Why would you still try to get that that recognition? It makes no sense. You know, I look, I'm gonna look at it like this. You know, um, once you elevate yourself, you know, um, you can talk about it, but you still can't be about it. Does that make sense? So you can talk about it, um, the hood, the streets, the game, what you know, whatever, but you can't be about it no more so yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. only talk about yeah. it you can tell your experience from living this particular way of life you know what i'm saying you can go back to the neighborhood you can build a skateboard park or something you know give back mm -hmm. you, know, you know what i'm saying um um so if if i'm in the game um or let me say rap game making millions of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. You think I'm gonna be on the block? No, I'm not gonna be on the block, you know, because another cat say, oh, how come you don't come down no more? Because one thing is I got everything to lose, you don't. That's right. You know, you know what I'm saying? So nowadays in Los Angeles, you know, cats is hungry. So you can't walk, you can't walk in the lion's den with a steak necklace on because there's lions, there's predators there, even from your neighborhood. There's predators there. You know, I've heard it so many times and it happened to me. 
I don't really, I don't really, you know, mess with this cat like that, you know. So you got hood, you got homies from the same hood doing homies in. Um, just from my experience, um, the youngster PMB um, went to Roscoe's. Um, word on the street um, is, dude was sitting in the parking lot and saw him walk by. Yeah, that's what I heard too. You know, this is you know this is catch I I was in the trenches with, like yeah, because they from the same neighborhood, right? And it's like he was sitting in the car, and dude just happened to walk walk past him, you know, like a ten thousand dollar watch, you know, and saw him was like mm, I'm I'm getting ready to go get him. Just like that. Just like that. It wasn't planned out. Yeah. It wasn't no social media. Yeah. It wasn't all that. He just happened and to be in this particular part of the city. Somebody seen lunch. Walked into the lion's den with a steak necklace on. Walk around in a, in a meat suit. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that jury is equated to in the lion's den. Yeah. And without thought, without hesitation, I'm hungry. I got to go get it. Did it go to that level? Yeah, he took his, he took the, he took his life, you know, unfortunately. And now his life is done. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's twisted. So, um, you know, like, like the... Like Nip, you know that dude was doing a lot for his community. I know, I know. You know, um, I talked to Cowboy, um, what last week, you know, and um, you know he was doing a lot for his community. You know, and he should feel safe. You should feel safe in your community, but well, like that void when he now he's gone, all that stuff closed down. Yeah, I mean that's like nobody came and filled that void. It pretty much just closed off that whole channel with the community centers he was doing, the stuff he was gonna start mm -hmm. you know, implementing to help young people, man. But I always tell people, you gotta remember for everything you do, there's somebody who don't like you. And I get hate stuff all the time, oh, if I see you. So even there's people I know that I grew up with that the smile on my face, but if they see any type of vulnerability or opportunity, you never know what a dude to do. You know what I mean? You know, you told me you went to, you know, Fox Hills Mall, man, and you know, dudes like, where are you from? You know, what I mean, and I've seen I'm it. I'm with my kids. That's what I'm saying. So you, you, here you are, you, you, quote unquote, not even say like but an OG, but been around and know the game. But somebody's asking you, and you're like, I'm here with Mike. What are you talking about? I'm mm -hmm. not even on that frequency. Yeah, I'm with my, I'm with my children. You know, I'm with my children. Motherfucker hit me up. You know, like, are you serious? You just hit me up with my children. You know, and it's like, um. I don't know, man. It's 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 some twisted type stuff, and um, it's really disappointing and sad, you know. Because when I walk down the street, I should not be afraid of you. You should not be afraid of me. You should not be intimidated by me, you know. If I'm walking in a, in a neighborhood, I should not be having to tuck my stuff because I'm I'm with my people, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, don't get this the wrong way, but I ain't seen nobody else do what we do to each other. No. You know what I'm saying? I can walk through Mid, Mid Wilshire. I ain't never seen no, um, let's say, um, with a Jewish community. No, I ain't, no, I ain't no, never no. seen them pull pistols and take their stuff. Broad from, daylight. And broad daylight. You know, I've never seen this in Koreatown. No, no. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's like, we ain't got no community. We got neighborhoods where we sleep and park our cars, but we don't have that community that other people have. So we distrust each other. You know, even that statement you just said, it reminded me of something like when they were talking about back in the day with the Italians, they made sure that their wives, mothers, grandmothers could walk down the street with their minks on. you damn straight. With their jewelry. you damn You straight. better not. I mean, she can walk midnight mm -hmm. and coming home from dinner with her husband. And if anything happened to them, you know, despite of where everybody, the mob, this and that, the next day, they would finger out who was in that neighborhood Definitely. and that's taken care of. Yeah. I mean, but stuff happened in our neighborhoods and it's like, dude, nobody, it's just every man for himself. It's like he said, there's no, we talk about culture, but what is the culture, man? It's, it's, it's What canceled. is the culture? It's canceled. It's, it's back in my day, um, if you worked at the gas station, you was off limits. If you worked at the supermarket, neighborhood liquor store, or whatever it may be, if you wasn't with this movement, you was like you wasn't even the target. We only went after people that did what we do. You that's know? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and it was done to me, and, and and I've done to others. You know what I'm saying? So that's part of that lifestyle. But today it's like, you know, um, it's like I remember when my circumstances started to change, right? 
um, when I started doing the TV shows, when I started doing all this other stuff. Um, my grandmama lived, you know, she still stayed in the hood, right? And um, and I saw, you know, cause some of my homies that was my age and, you know, from my generation and them youngsters, I don't know these youngsters, you know, so some of my homies that was my age and my generation, they're like, what you doing for the neighborhood? I said, what that mean? I said, what that look like? Tell me what that look like. Oh, you know, no, I don't know. Tell me what that look like, you know. Oh, you want a handout? No, you don't, you don't get that. See, what I'm doing for my hood is I'm not destroying that motherfucker no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm yeah. not making it safe. Terrorizing you. Yeah. Know, I'm not making it unsafe, yeah. you know. Um, when, when Grandma made her transition, it's like, you know, I apologize to Grandma. I'm sorry for what I helped do to the, to the neighborhood, you know, for my part, for, mm. for my two cents that I had to make this thing unsafe, um, to make your house value go down. I'm sorry for, for that part right there. And she was like, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. She made a transition. And, you know, I communicate with some of my homeboys that, that was there for me when I was in the trenches, you know, so. But then again, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing something that's positive, that's uplifting, that's in a high vibration or a high frequency, is that, you know, I cannot be in the neighborhood at three o'clock in the morning, yeah. hanging out when I'm 40 something years old. I'm yeah. 52 now, yeah. but you know, excuse me, 51, but I cannot be in the neighborhood when I'm doing this career type stuff just to appease you and keep it 100 checking in. I ain't got to check in with everybody. I check in with those who check in with me. But even, you know, at this phase in your life and you're looking at the role model you want to be to your children, your daughters, mm -hmm. and going forward and what the circles you're trying to move in. And I always tell people, man, you know, I remember a, a, a guy told me, he's like, sometimes people are watching you, you when you don't think they're watching. Mm -hmm. And so if your behavior outside of the people you're trying to do business with comes into light and they see that you're still on that bullshit, mm -hmm. you might have killed the deal and you didn't even know it. Because somebody you sees you with somebody and they're like, excuse me, is that is that DJ over there? Mm -hmm. My God, it is. What is he? Oh, I didn't know he was around that type of element. You know, I know he used to be, but man, I thought he changed. And people, it 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 ostracize you. It 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 it, it affect your ability. And some people say, well, I'm keeping it real. And I'm not saying like you know keeping it real. We're the only people who say that. But what is keeping it real? Life is about elevation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm not acting bougie, but dude, I'd rather be hanging out in Dana Point or somewhere, you know, me, you talking about surfing or teaching your daughter how to swim in the ocean than to be, to be talking about I'm hanging out in a, a place where it's a hostile environment where people don't care because they have nothing to lose. They have they have no goals. If you have a goal or vision, I want to get around other people with goals and vision, man. Man, I'm going to tell you, homie, it's like I said, you know, from the first interviews um, that we did, you know, on, on the Big Herc show, you know, Fresh Out, is ain't nothing wrong with being a copycat as long as you copy the right cat, you know. And, um, and the cats that I copy is, is, is on the elevation type thing, you know. The circumstances, you know, the situations, um, statistically, I'm not supposed to be a success, you know, and, and not success not finan I ain't saying financial success, but of of um, of to reoffend um, within a certain amount of time, you know, to um, to live the quality of life that I currently, you know, live, you know, be that present father. You dig what I'm saying? And um, and some some of my homies, you know, some of my homeboys like, hey, ghost, um, what did you been what you been doing? I'm like, I, you know, I tell them, you know, it's like. We come from a disadvantage. I come from a disadvantage. Financial, all that stuff. I come from disadvantage. I work my ass off. I learned a lot of stuff. So my children don't start life off at a disadvantage. I'm getting ready to buy an apartment building. Real talk. I'm getting ready to buy an apartment building to provide wealth for my children. You can't inherit Section 8. You can't inherit GR. 
but you can inherit a fucking Section 8 mindset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? No. So what I'm trying to do now is like my homie's like, how do you do this? So the game that I get over here, if you want to listen, I'm gonna give it out. I'm gonna give it away right here, and show you how to do this stuff. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's how I give back for those who want this change. I'm not gonna do it for you. I'm gonna show you by an example, so you can. I tell my homie Pook is like, I'm your point of reference because these cats I'm copying are my points of reference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, same thing with the stuff that was happening. Now, it's not gonna make everybody happy because everybody wants, you know, you know, let me hold something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hold something. And I'm gonna let you hold this book. <laughs> Motherfucker, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So. No, that's real talk, man. I mean, I always tell people, man, um, the best thing you can do before you go buy anything as far as uh, material is invest in yourself. And you invest in yourself by putting yourself around um, great minds, people of, uh, of uh, positive influence, you know. You have to change that frequency. And w once you change it to a certain vibration, other things don't even make sense no more. Like you'll look at certain things where you know, back in the day, you like, you know, you see a, a club and you see it popping and you like, you know, I'm with the business too. Mm -hmm. You go up in there and you're ready for whatever. But now you look at it, like, ah, you know, I'll pass. I'm cool. You have a different, your, you, your, your frequency tells you almost like that sixth sense, like, nah, uh, 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 ghost, you don't need to be over here. And you say, let me go other places. Mm -hmm. Even though you could go there if you want mm -hmm. and you can handle the situation, but it's a, it's a bigger picture now. And that's kind of how I look at it. I got a lot of shit to lose, Hurt. Yeah. I got a lot of shit to lose, you know. It's like, um, I don't know, you know, being you know, being being a father, you know, it's, it's, it's changed my perception, you know, of what I'm responsible for. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for these little girls. I'm res it's my duty to raise women, spiritual giants, you know what I'm saying? Now, I never thought like that before. Never in my life thought like that before. I never thought about being 51, you know, 25, let alone 20, you know, 25, yeah. 51, you know, but, um, um, it's, 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 it's some shit that I had to learn, and like I told my boy Chris, um, you know, um, doing that 17 years, this is gonna sound really crazy, but I'm, I was, I'm actually grateful for the experience, because it's, these dreams, these aspirations. You know how it is when you lock down. You take that mask off when you when you lock down in that cell. Yeah. I'm really I'm really grateful for that experience because it showed me what what life, what reality could could be. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like I said, living an amazing life. You know. Um, I just formed my nonprofit. Who would have thought about that? See, we're entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So I just formed a nonprofit, You Can, which is Urban Community Action Network. You can make a difference. And just like all these other, you know, like Nip, making a difference. Like mm -hmm. you, making a difference. Like all these people is making a difference. And those who don't want to make a difference, I ain't going to leave you there, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to leave you where you're at. Yeah. If you want to be a 50-year-old dude at the park riding a beach cruiser, smoking pinhead joints, go ahead. Do, your, do that. I'm going to leave you there. Yeah. You know? So um, that's the kind of where I'm at right there, you know? But all this other stuff, um, that one cat who's been contacting me, I'm not going to be on that show. Yeah. You know, because you with that sensationalist bullshit, basically. And um, that's not my get down. Hey, man, there you have it. Mm. Big Herc, 916, mm. getting down with Ghost Look. Spitting game for you guys. Fresh out. Stop walking around with a crusty butt, smelly ball sack, and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said, wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at freshhouseseries.com.